Folks, I'm Stephen Crowley. Thanks for joining me again for another watercolour demo. Got a winter scene for you today. So let me show you the colours I've used. Three colours on the palette that I've used. We've got Ultramarine, Raw Sienna and Burns Umber. Brushes, most of it done with a large hike brush. I also use a little hike, uh, that little flat brush as well. And a number three rigger down there. Right, let's get cracking with some clear water. And then I'm going to just use the three colours with this, actually. Um, so let's mix the three colours together. And I'm going to end up with something like that. Um, so, bring that down a little bit. Something like so. Now I'm just going to on the top of that little hill there, just put a hint of some trees and things growing up there, bushes and whatnot like in the distance. And then coming further down, I'll probably go over this again actually because it it's going to need to be darker than this. Spurt Umber, Ultramarine, I'm just putting a dark, a dark mix, uh, just before I start scraping a few buildings and things. Get a quick draw. Then just mix all the three colours again together. The raw sienna, burnt umber, and ultramarine. And let's get that a little bit darker. Scrape a big ace into it. Oops. A few things going on there. There's another house there. There's a few things in front of it. There's another one there. And if I use a smaller card. Scrape a lot. Got a big one there. Actually, I don't want to get too barmy with it. Although I might stick another house in. Let's put it in front of that one there, just like that. These things are just a few random details. Switch the rigger brush, a few bit of brown, bit of blue. And I'm just going to pop a few little random details in again. Take this 
flat brush. And then just putting these darker sections there just to give it a bit of look a little bit more light and shadowy. Could even again a few more little marks, you know what they are, but all we'll adds to the intrigue. got this on the brush I might just suggest some kind of road path going up to that one there just going up to that little house there and then let's clean the brush and get more to a, a bluey a bluey sort of colour bank that's coming down this tree I want it darker again darker still so back to the hike but in fact let's try the little hike see how this little hike works so a bit of brown a bit of blue the rigger brush number three rigger and a bit of brown a bit of blue just have like a little post there don't put them in too precise it's just I'm going to smudge it with my hand otherwise. I'm going to 
put a little man there, but I'm going to need. It's going right in that dark section, so what I'm going to do is light it so you'll stand out better. Lighten that, I need to dry it first. Just a dark mix, a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Right. Now I want some big sort of foreground shadow. So clean brush, not too much water on it. I'm gonna take all the colours. Sort of leaning towards blue, sort of grey bluey type of colour. Just mix them all together like that. Put a little bit of water in there because you want to be able to see what you've painted underneath. It's just like shadows going on top of what's already there on the paper. You don't want to block, block it all out, painting in opaque. You want it transparent. Um, so we've got coming down the hill across there and a back up there like that. Something like that. Uh, let's put some of this in shadow. Dry that for that. Out these individual posts and do shadows off those. So back into that mix. And then just cast a few shadows off these posts. Feathered friend, actually three of them up there. And I'm just going to finish it off, just stick my name in the corner. And I'm going to call this one finished. I'll just stick my name down there. Right, let's stick a mount on that now then and see what it looks like. So there's our finished painting the mount. So we're going to have a closer look at it. So a very very simple sky that was put in and then you can just uh, mix the colours together just to give the hint of some foliage right there on the horizon and then as we come forward three layers it took to get this sort of
depth of the dark tone. And then scraped in the buildings using the piece of card. And then just also added some darker tones on the on the right hand side. Lots of little random details as we come close to the foreground. You can see where I've scraped in the telegraph poles and wires, just again using the card. Just a few little friends posts here and there. All these little details just to help add interest. Um, got our little man and his dog there walking between the two cabins. You can see all these little fence posts, little shadows cast from each of them, and they frame our pathway that comes from the foreground. Big sweeping shadow across the foreground just to help give some sort of light to the scene. So that's another painting finished. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks as always for watching. Many thanks to all the patrons. Um, for your support, very much appreciated. Um, everyone else, if you do get the chance, um, more than welcome, join me, join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crony. Loads more videos and community galleries and all sorts. So, until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>